This is the Sony RX100 in 2024. By now I'm assuming you've all heard of the Fujifilm X100V, and I bet almost every single one of you has thought to buy one at some point. But with the retail price being $1,800 and resale prices being well over $2,000, and not to mention that the thing's been on back order for like forever, it's just not a reality for most people. So in comes the RX100, the original, in 2024. The original Sony RX100 was released in 2012 with a 20.2 megapixel sensor, a 3 inch fixed LCD screen, and a 28 to 135 millimeter equivalent lens. Also, with the price of actually shooting film these days, unfortunately, personally, I have no interest in doing that. It's just way too expensive. You have $20 on a roll of film, $20 to get it developed. So the RX100 has been the closest thing I have found to carrying around that daily 35 millimeter point shoot. Yes, the Fujifilm recipes seem sick, and I'd be lying if I say I didn't want to try them for myself. But for me, they're just not worth the $2,000 price tag for an X100V. And yes, they are sick, but personally, I, I do like to go into Lightroom and play around with my photos. And I have made countless film emulating presets in Lightroom, so I just put my photos in there, slap on a LUT, and we're good to go. It literally takes two seconds. So that personally is not a bother to me. I was lucky and my girlfriend actually had this RX100 just laying around. When I told her I wanted to buy one, she's like, I think I have one. And she has now graciously let me use it for the past year and a half and it's great. But you can find them anywhere from $100 to $300 on Marketplace, which still is way cheaper than the X100V. If you wanna spend a bit more money, you could get a newer version. And these come with things like a built-in pop-up EVF, uh, a tilt LCD screen, which are just add-ons really. You don't really need that, but they all come with a built-in flash. So you get that hard flash look on your photos, which I personally really like. And if I'm being honest, I've kind of been enjoying taking photos more on this than I have on my Sony a7 IV. Yes, there's a time and a place for the a7 IV because it takes amazing photos and amazing videos, but the convenience of just being able to toss this in your pocket is just unbeatable. We live in a time where cameras are getting released every year, sometimes even multiple cameras from a single camera brand like Sony. And I think we all just need to take a step back and realize that a 20 megapixel camera from over 10 years ago is way more than enough for you to have around capturing daily content as your point and shoot. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend that I'm some tech YouTuber like MKBHD or Gerald Undone. Although those, those guys are great, I'm just not that. I'm not gonna sit here and pixel peep photos and compare. I'm just here for the overall shooting experience. But I just wanna let you know that there is alternatives to the Fujifilm X100V. You don't need the latest and greatest. There's cameras, like I said, that were released 10 years ago that are so much more capable than you think. and you'll have a blast shooting with them and the image quality is still so good for what you need. Posting on social media, you don't need the best of the best quality. At the end of the day, the camera that's gonna get you out there and taking more photos is the perfect camera for you. Whether that be the X100V, then go get the X100V. Whether that be the RX100, whether that be your iPhone, whether that be whatever camera is gonna get you out there taking more photos is the perfect camera. Hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely something a little different than I'm used to doing on this channel, but um, I just really wanted to share this camera. I really wanted to share that there is alternatives to the X100V. And yeah, get out there and shoot, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>